Well guys, here with another Android app. In this one I'm going to cover Action Launcher. Action Launcher is one a new launcher that came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, like you see right here, this is already launched, is already installed and set here. And like you see here, you, here in the top you got the App Store. When you click here, you're going to have the App Store right there. Which is very cool because now you don't have to have another app for the App Store. From here you can also access your Google search right there. <laughs> so it will automatically launch your Google search right there. Very convenient. At least it's not like a bar. I don't really like the bar looking one. And here if you touch here you can also add apps, widgets, and wallpaper. Very, very nice. Very cool. Um, here, like you see here, there's no draw. There's no draw for the apps. So right now you could put five apps in the bottom. Five of your favorite apps. And like you see here, apps. When you touch on that, you can see your, all your apps just like that. Um, you can also just swipe to the left, to the right, and you will automatically see the, the apps, which is very cool. It has a very nice animation. Um, from here, you can also hurt, touch here where the where the letters are, and you can go ahead and, and go through alphabetical order, which is very cool as well. And like you see, it's dark. Uh, for example, you could go to settings, and if you want to customize that, you could change the background of your draw to wallpaper. That way, you can see your wallpaper. Uh, you could also set the numbers, the letters, to dynamic. And let's see how it looks now. There's a couple. There's a couple settings here. Like for example, you could set how many pages you want. I want to see only four pages. Uh, doc separator, uh, page indicator invisible action bar um, I click back and now if I go to the draw look how it looks now it looks tra uh, transparent you can see the back and like you can see here the, the letters you can't see it unless you touch I can see here I touch and I can see the letters but if you stop touching they will disappear that's the, that's the dynamic mode uh, and like you see here, totally transparent, so that way you'll see your wallpaper at all time. Well, one thing to keep in mind, you can't select an app here and move it to your draw, to your home screen. You can't do that. You'd have to do, you could either touch and hold, and it will enable this, or you could touch over here, and it'll enable that. And you could go here and access any app that you want. For example, if I want to put this one on the screen, I would just select it. And now you can put it on the screen very easily. Very cool. Oh, I could touch over here if I want to choose a widget. And I want to see all the widgets available here. I could go ahead and choose a widget from here. Let's choose this one from Beautiful Widgets. I choose that. Now I could go ahead and choose that. And it's done. Now you could put a widget there. Sure. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is still on beta. So they, there's still going to be lots of updates available for this. And because this is weird, for example, I'm right here, right? And I press that, it will open the, the app draw. If I'm over here, it will open the app draw. So that's weird. Unless you go to settings. Let me see if I could actually change that. Um, hmm, home screen, that's separated, visible bar. Um, home button let's see if it actually changes if I press the home button it doesn't do nothing so it won't do nothing I would have to go back go like that and select home button to toggle and open close so now it will open the draw so no matter where you are it will open the draw it's cool it could be annoying for some people um, I don't actually like that but like I said, it's a new um, launcher. It's getting better every day. And if I'm not mistaken, it's like $3.99 or $4.99. Another thing that I don't like yet of this launcher is that you can't still, you can't customize the look of your apps. For example, on, on Apex Launcher, if you touch and hold, you can see the, 
you can see another menu that pops out and you can actually edit the the icon and change the icon the way they look so here it won't actually let you you touch here all you see is the is a function to remove that's it and the, right there you will remove the app i would have liked if they would have put a, a at least another function here that says info that way you could go to your app info that would have been a very good and maybe that will come later on who knows maybe that come but right now um this app actually looks good i like the way everything moves i like the new the new idea of having your apps over here which looks very very re refreshing in my 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 taste looks very nice and it looks very nice the way it opens and everything i like the way they put the the app store over here I wouldn't mind if they leave that there and that's very cool um, this I don't think is necessary because you can touch and hold and you can access it from here so here this I don't think is necessary uh, this is cool I like the searching button right there because it only has just a searching button that's it not the bar I don't like the bar and I like the fact that you can also use five apps in the bottom since you don't need another app for you another spot for your app draw which is very very cool so guys um that was a look at action launcher for android phones um till next time guys